Deformalities, deformalities.com. And we're live streaming on YouTube for the first time. Sorry terrible. for the wait. Sorry, sorry for the wait. So terrible. Got the kitchen in the back. Trap house. Trap house. Barely. <laughs> Barely. What's up, y'all? Yo, what y'all think of that song for the too? I didn't even bump it. I, don't I, I, I didn't even yeah, hear it. I haven't even heard it yet, yeah. But I see I see niggas posting memes with a trash can with a mic <laughs> talking about Lil Wayne. How's that? <laughs> Sorry for the wait doing. I don't know. I haven't listened to Lil Wayne in mad long. I think he's always been corny. I never liked him. Oh, yeah? I loved him oh, in the beginning. Yeah. Oh, Dedication. yeah. Dedication. And then what happened? And then it was just over. I stopped. I fell off. Drake came out. <laughs> <laughs> when everybody found out that was his ghostwriter, it was game over. <laughs> Word up, because when, when Drake came out, was so far gone, I didn't know who Dedication was. All of the way. I was yeah, like, I remember fucking, wow. um, it was like 2008, there was like a chat room, the OVO fucking blog, it was like the WordPress, there was a big ass like conversation because his mixtape was delayed by like 12 hours. Yeah. So I was with a bunch of people, like posted, chilling in the chat room, just like, yo, when is this shit gonna drop? Like, I remember fucking, um, there's this dude, you ever heard of Brian Blue? No. He's on Hypebeast and shit now. I remember that dude through there. Cool ass dude. Why, why you got me putting this brand Internet. Shit? Internet. Internet. That's for us. Too bright. No, they can see that. It look, my, my, now my, that we got the live stream, my we baldy pay looks, attention. My baldy look dull. <laughs> look bald. You look like you have cancer. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. You really bald yourself. <laughs> what happened? Shave my shit every other day. What made you decide bald? to do that? Listen, it was a long time coming. I, I my haircut was always low. Yeah, Yo, you look like you Steve get Harvey. And I look and I look the same. My nigga look like Steve Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they getting at you. Right I don't now. even look a little bit like Steve Harvey. This thing is crazy. Chris high. Chris, you high? Uh, maybe. <laughs> now people can see your hotness. <laughs> so if you didn't know, we live streaming on YouTube. Um, right now it's YouTube.com slash formal focus. YouTube.com well, slash But it still says the formalities. We might have to bump up the day we post podcasts. No. Why not? Well, the live stream will be posted at the same time. They could just catch us live while we're recording the shit. Oh, and then catch it again. And then, the, and then on Monday, the live stream will get posted in the in the episode. How are you gonna edit? You no, know, oh, no editing of the no. video. No editing. Straight raw. <laughs> Hour. That's yeah. <laughs> Fuck it yeah. up. This is us. All right, so check it. How was you, motherfuckers, week thus far? Thursday. Stressed. Stressed out. I had like five job interviews this week. Where'd you go to? Yeah, where, 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 where you been? Manhattan, Brooklyn. For what? It's crazy. I did the I did the joint that you told me to do that B John is doing. Uh, oh really? Yeah, I gotta Interview? go. I gotta go back there this week. You got a bike? I don't need a bike. You could walk. <laughs> you, could you could drive. Take, you could drive, or you could do a bike. You everybody in this room should do that shit. That I would, bro. bro. Do if you're summer. in the city, they come to you. It's easy. What do you mean? Easy I think they money. Help you, they finance what do you, you mean for a they bike. Come to you? If you don't have the money for it, no, explain to how they come. You gotta have an iPhone. You gotta you gotta be a part of the app system, and then the jobs come to you. So they have the. So fucking, I could be yo, in a. So you, a yo, you're pretty much you a messenger. Map, yeah. And then there's like uh, actually if you, there's if like you jobs. choose to accept the job, then you work yeah. the job. If so you the don't jobs are by the, the job, area, it goes to radius, somebody else. The radius of where you are and shit. And I gotta walk or ride a bike. You could or, do whatever yeah. you want to like do. Like my boy does it on the bike, and like they'll be like, "I need you to go to CVS and grab me some Skittles." You grab a what? bag of Skittles. Some doji. Bring they it to their you, crib. They give you a credit card you. though. Like they put they put the money on the credit. You don't have to use your money. Oh, they give you an account. They give you a yeah. They give you a credit card with account. So the moment somebody asks you and you accept it, the money goes in. So it's like a personal assistant, in a sense. Yeah. yeah Del- a delivery service. For yeah. Like yeah. if I want a TV from Best Buy, you trying to get some Dutches. You trying to roll up. <laughs> you got a quarter at the crib. <laughs> want some Dutches? You too high to go grab some shits? You call that Postmates. Like They'll come scoop it for you. <laughs> Premium rush type shit. Yo, it's dope. <laughs> it's, it's dope though. If when I when I get my bike this um this year, the, the only bad part is only like cities they have it in. Yeah, yeah, like San Fran, New York. Right now, but New York is big. But right shit. now, it's like a Uber, but but yeah. it's like but for shit. 
<laughs> food, yeah. anything. Hey, um, can you get light mayo? Make sure you say light mayo. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, but they contact the store too, so they make sure to order. Sometimes you just gotta go in there and pick it up. Okay. Well, yeah, my week's been kind of rough at work. Yeah. All right, man. Today I was so tired and feel like working, or even going or getting out the bed. But as the day went on, I. Yo, you should do that. Yo, the Postmates. Everybody in this room. Should yo, do in that. the summer, Postmates just. I'm on it. It's over. In nah, the summer, I'm might, on it. It's over. I might do that when I get my motorbike. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm gonna do midnight shift. All that. I'm on all it. All that. All that. <laughs> you are gonna be stressed. All that. No, nah. All that. How you doing? You gonna have no? You gas. don't have to have hours. It's wherever. Whenever you in the area, you just gotta be up. And I could be on my feet. That's it. You could walk. Stop. You a slow walker. Stop. <laughs> Take the train. <laughs> you should go to BBQs on 42nd and 3rd and Stop. get me some hot wings, nigga. Honey wings. Mm, honey wings. <laughs> I can only honey. imagine the crazy fucking messages you might get. Go to CVS and get me some panty nah, liners, baby. It's the shit when you get to the nigga house. <laughs> the crazy some- shit you see. <laughs> Panty liners, baby. I need some panty liners. Nah, I but read I heard this you, one. You come up though, like crazy. I read this one story of like do- Domino's delivery drivers, like the shit they see when they deliver your pizza. <laughs> I've seen crazy. Like YouTube what? What's an example? Like, <laughs> like somebody offering for you to come inside. Hey, come inside. Bring the pizza inside. Put it on the table for me. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's We're about to watch some movies. You wanna, you Would you drink? like to join us? Yeah. What kind of shit. movies? These are That's prank, undisclosed those are pranks, information. Though. Yeah, right? These, those are all pranks, though. No. <laughs> no, bro. Just it's insane. like real shit. They order pizza for company? Like Open. somebody said, oh, the pizza, just put it by the basement window. <laughs> the, money, <laughs> the money's <laughs> under the fly, flower pot. What are you going to say? <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, I forgot what I was reading, but the dude was like, he had to go to, and he went to this one lady's house every time, and he had to leave the pizza on the steps and put the money in the mailbox every time. She must have a every time six heads or something. Oh, she's huge. <laughs> That's crazy. She must be ugly. She didn't want to be seen or something. And then he yeah, said one time he knocked on the door. She was like, "Why didn't you just leave it on the steps?" <laughs> I read that homie back in the day. She fucking black crazy. Or shit. Dude, I used to have this homie who used to sell bud, and like I picked up from him for the first time ever. He used to go to WestCon. Yeah. He's like, yo, meet me at Midtown Campus. I'm like, all right, cool. And, like, his voice, when I got there, sounded so sus. He's just like, all right, man, you see that stop sign? Go to Robert's Ave. Stop at the stop sign. Just go a little ahead of it. Park right there. <laughs> I'm like, all right. He's like, all right, I see you. He's like, get out the car. Turn around. You see the building right there across the street from, like, where the vans are at and shit? I'm like, yeah. He's like, I'm on the fourth floor. Look at the window. And he's out the window. And he's just like, yo, just, just come to the window. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, you're on the fourth floor. He's like, all right. <laughs> yeah, just, throw the just money come outside. Up. He's like, yo, just hold on one second. He goes inside, comes in. He comes back out with a string. Ne- yes. Oh, and he has what? a fucking paper clip. He's like, yo, just put the 20 on the paper clip. I'm going to drop the bag down. I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, <laughs> you're what? standing in the middle of the street. In front of this building, getting And, weed. yo, across the street on Roberts Ave, there's mad cops. So this dude is throwing me a fucking bag of weed with the string and the paper clip right in front of where all the cops are at. This has got to be in Connecticut. And I threw a 20 right there. I was like, dude, don't ever fucking, like, tell me you got butt again. I'm never buying from you if you're going to do some shit like this again. That was just sus. Like, yeah, that was some weird shit. That's crazy. So what's up? I'm sure what y'all doing tonight? I'm fucking tired. I'm going to bed. I'm going home. Yeah, I've been up since like 5 a.m. Home. I've been up since 5 a.m. Me too. So what? Honestly, I like waking <laughs> up that early. Hell no. Nah. I've been nah, doing it lately. Cause... I love it. It makes me mad productive. Like, I've gotten mad shit done today. Yeah. My girl wakes me up all the time. Four o'clock in the morning. For what? <clears throat> She's going to work. She make noise. I'm up. Doing that shit on purpose. Babe, I got to go to work. You know I got to get up. <laughs> <laughs> I try to say bye, but then I'm up. I'll be awake for a couple. Sometimes I fall back to sleep. Sometimes I don't. Be tight. I swear to God, if I have to work, yeah, and I'm up at four thirty. I'm blacking on shit. No, that's not the same. No breakfast. No ass. Just up. <laughs> <laughs> nah, fuck that. Ain't no shows on. Fucking infomercials are still on. 
Yeah, but doesn't he play Candy Crush? Nah. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you just remind me of? Did you ever see uh, French Montana's Instagram? You ever see how like they do BET, the church, the church commercials at night? Yeah. He posted a video of this one dude. He has, what? Um, he has like the cram hair, but he has like the <laughs> cram hair. don't have no hair. Whatever. Anyways. He cut his hair. But he has like the bald, and then he has like a patch with a fucking rat tail in the back. And he's okay. just on late at night doing the Wait, Bible I, shit. The, uh, with big glasses? Like, nah, he just he has like some crazy ass teeth. And uh French Montana like fucking reblogged it. You see him on the mic, he's like reading the Bible. He's like Sermon says the devil is a motherfucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I ain't scared, biatch, fucking bitch. Like this is on BET at night. For real? Yeah, dude. You got to go on his Instagram. That? Yeah. No way. Fucking bitch. I ain't scared. The devil's a fucking liar. No, that's crazy. <laughs> that sound. You got to peep that song. You, I mean, you think about it crazy. back in the day, the fucking BET uncut. It was all tight. It was tip no, drill. It was no tip t- drill. It was no tip really drill. cursing, though, like that. <laughs> Why does everybody always remember that one video? Dude, that's what video. it was. It was that late night BET and shit. And the ludicrous pussy popping video. <laughs> pussy popping on the handstand. It was oh, a couple videos God. in there, though. Then you get the unsigned artists with the whack fucking videos that got no butt, nothing but in the it. video. <laughs> you feel like, what? Big ass rims on their cars and shit. Back when rims. Rims was a thing. Ryan Spinners. Yo, I was in stop. Mexico. Rims dude. was a thing. When I was in Mexico last summer, there was a fucking bus with spree wells. Oh, yeah? Yo, this a dude, bus, my boy yellow, Andre, he has bus? the fucking yellow video bus? on his phone. It's like the city bus, like the uh, MTA joints, blue ones, but the Mexican joints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, it had oh, spinners. That's, that's, no, that's in Africa. Dude, I in was Af- crying. Like, in South America and Africa and shit like that, when you go to those those poor countries, the buses is live, playing music out there. They got DMX stickers on it. Like, they got all type of shit on it. Madness. The buses is live. What is the point of all that? That's they bus. Like, there's no bus company. It's not a Beeline or an MTA. <laughs> oh, wait. no, but Niggas just own the bus. I got the most popping bus on the block. Where you want to go? They they get they, they don't have a route. They just be like, we're going to the city and we're coming back. Crazy shit. I would never ride that fucking bus. <laughs> nah, that shit wavy. All right, so. So we going to call Ro? Uh, yeah, there's no stops no good. more. No more breaks. What you mean? We're going straight through? Yeah. Nah, fuck Fine. that. We got to test break. and see what's good first. There's no more breaks. How are we going to turn off the live stream? We don't. <laughs> the fuck you <laughs> mean? Like, you like I got fucking breaks. was like a half hour. But you, can just call, but you can just call them right now. We could take a break and play Boom Beach. Why yeah. you want to do that? I'm just saying. And play Boom Beach <laughs> yeah. on the screen so and everybody we, can and see? show niggas our high scores. I'm level 34. <laughs> <laughs> and this one Korean guy keep fucking with me. He Yo, see if he got Google Taking Plus. my fucking resource base. <laughs> It's, I don't even Yo, need I hate it, that but shit, dude. I, hate I keep that he, shit. he got he got smoke and he got um his um his boats can carry five boats and hoes five um village men how you what do you call them the hammer niggas and he be clapping my shit <laughs> every time and I be like he surround my shit I can't wait to get smoke because I'm I'm gonna do that to every fucking person I got a way around that we can call without him having Google Plus but they can't see him on the screen. Okay, they don't have to see him. They go check his shit out and see his ass on Twitter and shit. But I would like him to call on Google Plus. So well, you got to recommend it. You got to push it. You gotta, push it. To like, like, like how Power we got a couple, 105 we got a is pushing people. that line So you, you got somebody for next week or no? Um, nah, it's going to be a Saturday thing. Okay. Because he has to get back to me. So we're going to we gonna have somebody else. You got him on the line? Are we, are we calling? Doing it on your computer? We If we got Google Plus. Can't do FaceTime? They can't see him on FaceTime. Wait, so what are you talking? Oh, it's on Google Hangouts. Yeah, right now. Uh, cause I told him we're doing FaceTime audio. We could still do it if uh, he wants do to it do it. FaceTime audio. Alright, you gotta do me a favor though, Cram. You go over there and get me the wire. Alright, so I'm gonna text what you wire? his number right now. Right now. I forgot how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna have to put another input in, and then we do it. So let's take a break, and then we'll come back. With more of the formalities live on YouTube. On YouTube. YouTube.com with on, the fucking Tim YouTube. Westwood. YouTube.com slash focus form. For focus. <laughs> Formal focus. But where'd you come up with focus? 
glimpse. <laughs> no, I, came up with it. About, I came up with it because it's everything's it's about focused. do work. I was so in the zone, bro. I'm so in the zone, bro. I just wanted yeah. to say something. Just fucking focus, man. This, you got to focus. Yeah, I could picture this dude like rock, watching Boiler Room, jamming out. <laughs> what am I going to call this? <laughs> I'm so focused right now. Form focus. Let's get it. Yo, this mic on? I'm on? We live? Yo, what's the formalities here? The one and only cram. Check us out. We here. Podcast formalities. The formalities.com. Check us out, boy. We on the block. Bro. Bro. Yeah. Let me let me turn this off. So we're back is the formalities. The formalities.com live stream on YouTube for the first time. First time live streaming, which is probably getting crazy. I'm f- I'm sending out the link to my to my my boys and everybody in the text. Shout out to everybody. I'm trying to get your comments up and I can't see it. What's this? What's this do? What's this button do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. oh, okay. You shut the camera off. Okay, and I could turn it up a little bit, you know. Oh, turn up. And I, f- I kind of figured things out. What do you say you want to go do? I can't wait to get home and eat dinner. I'm having smothered burgers. Rice. What's a smothered burger? It's a burger. Sloppy smothered. Joe. Have you like ever sloppy had? Sloppy Joe? No, no, no. Have you ever had a Salisbury steak? A steak? A Salisbury steak. Is that no, like, what is that? No. Is that like the... um the, the um, Exactly like the TV dinner. Yeah, that's it's it's a Salisbury steak. It's a fucking slab of steak. It's it's not real steak though. It's not actually made of. But why would you order that? I don't have a Salisbury steak, but I'm trying to give you the idea. The is image. it the, the 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 shreds? No, it's a smothered burger. You want to see a photograph? No, but what is this? But so what does this Salisbury steak have to do with this? Well, because that's the idea where we got it from. Me, me and my shorty. So what? So what is it smothered with? Gravy. Oh. So oh, that a, sounds bomb. It's a burger with gravy. Yeah. Gravy burger. <laughs> a sloppy joe. <laughs> it's not a sloppy joe. That's what it yeah. is. A sloppy joe is 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 that's just ground beef. That's a sloppy. Mixed up and what, into a and what is a burger? A burger is a patty formed burger. from a what? Shape. Formed from what? A sloppy joe is not whole. Where's the burger? Though? I thought it was like a with the bread and the No, nah. no, it's smothered. Burger. It's a bug. It, it's sloppy can I, can Joe. I show the people. <laughs> you want to show the now you got now you can show the people shit. They can't really tell what that is though. It's mother, mother, that mother. looks like fucking dog food. It's a mother, <laughs> Yo, what else can That's we a smother, do? This motherfucking was... burger right there, cuz. What? Yo, your guy about to get. Oh, Ooh, here we go. Sweaty. I told oh, you that. You're getting There's a no call shit. from Road Rockwell. At the curve shit. There we go. There we go. Here we go. Yo, 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 hey, what's bro. good? Yo, what's up? What up? What's popping? Is it on video? Nah, it's just know. audio right now. Oh, okay, okay. Is this is this on on it right now already? We are on, yes. We, we are, are live. <laughs> we are live <laughs> okay, streaming okay, on YouTube right live now for the Rockin first time Rockwell. with Ro Rockwell. Word. Wish you had Google Plus. We could have got you on the screen and stuff if you had Google Plus. Oh, man. yeah, I got a Google Plus, too. Hit us oh, up. Hit us no, up. No, no, no. no. We already got him. We got to do that shit next time. We already got nah, him. Let's do wow. it. Wow. Let's got do it. it. We got we him on the line. We already fucked up for this long. We might as well get his face on the live. Hold up. Do not. No, 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 no. Hold up. Bro, do not hang up. Hold up. Stay on the line. Grab your computer. All right, hey, on. What's up? Yo, Grab- um, text me your email address for the Google Hangouts right now, and I just invite you. All right, cool. Like, all right, cool, cool. Don't hang up. Don't hang up. <laughs> <laughs> no, just text him. Yeah. Why don't you just tell it to us right now? What, what's up, bro? Though, right. what, what, what's, what's going on with you? What's your I'm email chilling, address, man. bro? I'm chilling. You I'm, text I'm gonna me. text it to you right now. Yeah, right. yeah, he could talk. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. You don't want to put it out there. Oh, my bad. Yeah, I don't want to put his email out for the fucking YouTube. You know. My bad. We live. We live right now. We can't put out information. Now you guys got to learn how to restrict yourselves. Nah, fuck that. From saying other people's fucking personal bullshit. Boats and hoes. 
Hey, how long you guys had a podcast for? Because I'm trying to get me a podcast too eventually. In this, in this you just got to pick it up and start, bro. Yeah, we yeah, did we yeah, going on? Yeah. We going over a little over a year now. Yeah, it's our it's our first since uh, November 2013, right? Was it? 2000? Yeah, 13. Since yeah, oh, since word, last year. So we had our one year anniversary and we went through that's all our guests. And I seen the blog, you guys. That's shit pretty clean too. I really I can, like I can curse and shit, right? Yeah, yeah hell yeah. You can say whatever you want. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw the blog that you guys do. Good luck. You guys got man. a blog, right? Yeah. Yeah. We run a little blog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we we do posts. We try to we try to get the underground artists post up, you know? Oh, that's tight. That's so tight. So we put yeah. we put a little little of the popular stuff that we like. We we try to follow the trends. Yeah. Hell yeah. It's a little mix of everything. Fashion. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yo, it's so under the Cali, United the Road Rockwell or United Cali, Nations no. sound. Nice. Yeah, Wait, you're from LA, right? Yeah, I'm from L.A. Nice. Born in Anaheim, but lived in like L.A., Long Beach. Dope, dope. Life. Wait, so you were born in Anaheim and you moved to L.A. when? I moved to Long Beach and then I moved to L.A. But I like grew up in Long Beach, basically, but I've been in L.A. for like five, six, seven years. Nice. That's sick. Yeah. It's just a grind out here because everybody's trying to do it. That's why you got to set yourself apart from everybody. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Everybody's out there doing something, getting active. That's pretty sick. Yeah. But they get distracted, and I'm the only one not distracted because everybody gets distracted by <laughs> pussy. All that shit. Straight up, I like, hear that. Hey, I hear that. Sport or some shit that that's what they grind for on the weekends. Word. And that's just always gonna be there. Yo, so Ro Rockwell, like, how did that name come about? Um, I used to have a name in high school when I was rapping in high school, and I thought that name was sick. It was Cuban Pete, but. I'm not like Latino or anything, so like <laughs> I felt like it was kind of pointless to be called Cuban P. I just thought the date was dope, but so I changed. Then I just thought of Ro Rockwell. I was like, oh, I seen the name Rockwell from like an actor or some shit, and I was like, oh shit, Ro Rockwell. That shit sounds tight because Rockwell is also like a hip hop term. If you look at it, everybody be like, yo, I rock well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear that. Hell yeah. Wait, so how long have you been making music? I know you have like a wide catalog up on SoundCloud right now. I've been looking through yeah, it. Yeah, like th those songs are just from like two years. But before that, I had like mediocre mixtapes and shit. So I've been doing it for like 10 years. Oh, I'm, like, word. Yeah. I just turned 26. So I've been doing it for a minute. I've been doing it for like 10 years since all throughout high school, all throughout college. And then like now it's finally like moving. Nice. What's your most, most acclaimed track? Right now, Gotti. It's like... um. The first song off my EP, I did like, I'm almost done with the EP, but that's the only one we released because I want to just like do this project right. So like I'm going back in and tweaking all the other songs. I might even re redo the, that version of the song, but yeah. it's on SoundCloud. It's like called Gotti. Uh, why, why, why Gotti too? I wanted to ask you that because I did hear Gotti. Oh, why Gotti? I'm going to just keep it 100. We're, um, I did the song without the hook and then I was chilling with the producer and we're smoking in the studio. And you know how it gets with the artist and the producer. Like he's he's the one actually singing the hook. The producer, his name is Nizzy J. He's actually yeah he he's doing some shit too. But um he was um just rapping it in my ear. Like you know how he was just rapping the chorus to me. I was like oh shit. Like it was like one of the first choruses that came to him. And I'm usually with somebody who likes to act on impulse. So I was like just lay that shit down, and it just went like that. Word. Yeah. Was good. He sent the invitation out. Let's see. Uh, oh, uh, on uh, Gmail. Yeah. Uh, Grant, what are you doing? I don't know what's going on. I fucked up. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is I'm live. Searching through like shit. This yeah. is live. Right. Listen, now. mistakes happen. <laughs> it's life. <laughs> fuck. You gotta you gotta minim up. minimize the mistakes because nah, we're live that. now. And <laughs> and it means a lot. You gotta. What are they gonna? They're gonna stand black this because we're no. making mistakes here, buddy. Yeah. You're fucking up, bro. <laughs> Well, we up. made mistakes already. We got tried to get the comments in. I can't get it. Like, that's not my fault, cuz you the tech <laughs> I'm personality. Not. That's what we gotta talk about. So, too, Ro, mean. how you doing? Yeah, hey, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta um, restart like my computer and shit because I had a bunch of programs running. Yeah, oh, okay. see, like, and see, like that's my thing. Bus. Tell him not to hang up. <laughs> He'll thank me later. <laughs> Word. So you've Yo. been doing this shit for over ten years, right? Yeah. Why rap? Why not architecture or be an engineer? I don't know. Because, like, my brother, when I was young, my brother used to make me, like, um, rap Bone Thugs line just for fun and shit. Because he was, like, five years older. Hey, okay. Hey, try to say this. Hey, try to say that. And I was like, dad, this shit's tight. Like, when I was real young, like, seven, eight years old, like, and then 
I was like, man, I love rap. I just I just grew up in the culture. Like my neighbors used to play rap music. Okay. I just really grew up in the culture, and then I couldn't help. It. And then I went to college and shit, trying to figure all that shit out. But I was still rapping in college. What like, did you go to like, college for? For business, yeah. Which now it actually is helping me out. But sometimes I feel like don't it helped me out in social skills particularly. But sometimes I feel like I could have skipped it because I know it would have moved faster. If, but then I just know I got a lot more knowledge now because of it. So shit. So yeah, I was literally going to ask you that. I heard you. There's like, I think it's Armageddon. You're like talking about that. Like yeah, yeah. Like, that. yeah, because, yeah, I went to college. Because like I said, people like always just go to college because it's what everyone around you does. Or like, it just depends on where you're at. And like, or people tell you to do it. And like, if you make it in, you want to go. I didn't even go to a good ass college. I went to a decent college. But I'm just saying like, sometimes I think like, if I just would have just followed my heart at that time. I, it would have moved quicker, but a lot of things needed to happen in that four years, and I, I learned a lot about myself in that four years. Hell yeah, and so definitely too. worth it too. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. You yeah. always need that plan B, and and a business, yeah, business background and and hip 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 hop. That's true. That's true. Industry or you can use you. yeah, you can use the knowledge you learn for your plan B to use it towards your plan A. Because exactly. Like, Hell yeah. Yeah, because I feel like sometimes if you think like, oh shit, at least I have a plan B, then you're not gonna go as hard for your plan A. So I, I just want to. Yeah, I think I had a plan B at that point in my life, but now I don't. So it's like, yeah, Gotta I'm just using that knowledge. Build up, build up. Yep. I hear that. Yeah. Yo, uh, United Nations Sound. How did that come about? And what's the entire movement? Who's in that? All right, the movement is me and my homies, um, Blackie Tuner, and my other homie Yathu Sabe. That's his like he's like a reggaeton artist hey. on the low. <laughs> <laughs> but but um. Yeah, and like I, I've been just, like throughout the years, I've just been trying to form a team. There's been different people come and go, but these are the ones that stuck around. And like, um, yeah, it's just building a team of different nationalities and shit. Like, we got like a bunch of black dudes, bunch of Mexicans, bunch of Indians, bunch of Asians. It's like it's a diverse ass crew, and so that name's only fitting. And that also comes out in like the music and what I'm portraying because I'm Indian, and you, there's never been a Indian rapper in hip hop ever, like other than Magoo. But, you know, like, there's never been, like, a real Indian, um, so who knows the culture and grew up in the culture and shit. So it's just, like, I'm trying to make it seem like there's just, not, in the future, there's going to be one race kind of thing. But keep your culture and shit intact. But I'm just saying, like, like we're all the same at the end of the day kind of shit. Yeah, true that. Yo, yeah. Um, what's good, Ra? Uh, it's Chris talking. Um, I, I was just wondering, what's what's, what's um the <laughs> deal? Yo, hold on. The way you just came in reminds me <laughs> like when they do like interviews and like somebody from the audience hops in and it's just like, what's up, bro? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> it's Chris talking right now. Nah, it's My I name's didn't Chris. Myself to Why don't you just say your Instagram? I mean, yeah, 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 Twitter. Nah. Like, let let him talk. It's man. Chris. I'm Chris. What the fuck am I saying my Twitter name for? Go ahead, what's like? What's your Instagram? Nah, name? um, I was gonna ask. Yo, what's what do you, what's the day in the life of Bro Rockwell? Rockwell, excuse uh, me. The day in the life now is because it's just finally picking up. I'll tell you the day in the life a few months ago, like, um, because I barely just quit my other job, but I was doing like personal training, which is cool because it's flexible and it's girls and shit. Right. But so I was doing right. that. Um, and then um, day in life, do that, do my day job for as much as I can, and then um, and then come home and grind. So like, I would just make my shit as flexible as possible for me to go to the studio and all night because that's when my producers work. Like right. all night, so I just would do that, and um, yeah, like so work out. I work out in the morning, take care of all my internet shit, like cause I'm like starting this company myself too, and I'm doing the artist, and I got homies helping out, but I still gotta partake in the duties, so I do all the internet right, right. shit. Yeah, I do all the internet shit, and then um, rap. Like I try to stay as creative as possible, like read and shit like that too. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Yeah, I hear that. Yo, so Mario's your manager, right? Yeah, he's one of them. Nice. When How'd you we... guys link up? Oh, okay. yeah. uh, we linked up through my other homie. This is why actually college was kind of necessary because my other homie, uh, Blackie, that fool, he went to college with me. He was my roommate. And um, yeah, he's like, and then he introduced me to Mario. And like, these are the people that have been down throughout the whole process. And they've been just like dedicated. And they believe, like, that's another thing. People got to believe in their homies because a lot of times pride issues come in the way. Like, I know, because I didn't grow up with these guys. I met them all later on in my life. But a lot of people I grew up with, some are still around, but some just think like, oh, shit, I grew up with this guy. He can't be doing better than I can't help him do something big because that means I'm inferior. No, every role on the team matters equally as important. Yeah, I can't yeah. definitely. Yeah, I can't do certain things that the other people on my team do. And it's like these people are humble enough and like knowledgeable enough to realize that. 
to help your friends out who are doing shit like this because it's tough. It's not a one man thing. I hear that. Definitely true. Yeah. Word. Yo, so, so yeah, what were you saying? No, so when when can we expect the next project? Like how long you think it's gonna be? Uh the next project, um it's gonna be I think a month. I got it coming out in February. Okay. Yeah. Any like, so, like title February, name at all? Yeah, or? what's the title? The title is the Wavy E P. So that's my nickname. I wanna let that be known too. I spell it W double A double V Y. So like um, wavy. that's just my nickname. I got long wavy hair, and like that's my, just my personality like my, too. Like my, like my and current. so that's it's just gonna be like uh, it's gonna be all with one producer named Nizzy J. Check okay, him out cool. too. He got dope shit. Like I, he's gonna be the producer of this new year because he's working with artists that are quote unquote bigger than me right now. But yeah. he's really grinding with me because like he believes in my shit. So like yeah. How'd you link up? How'd you link up with him? Uh, I linked up with him through other artists that I was working through, and then um like. I had another artist who kind of knew him and they introduced me to him. And then he was trying to, uh, or we were kind of doing like a business at first. It started off like on business, but then it ended up being like, all right, we found both or both of us are e like equally as talented. So we wanted to do that. That's cool. If somebody was to describe your sound, what would you say it was? Okay. I'd say my sound is um, new. I would say it's everything though, because there's not one, I'll have like, songs for girls songs for guys songs for underground heads and i hope that i always do that because i noticed that people always start off doing it for underground heads and shit like, and then they they then only do it for like certain groups but i want to just maintain that like because it, it gives me a different outlet i like doing like real like like 90s beats and shit like jay dilla i got a mixtape on those kind of songs i just like all rap so yeah I can't even put it in one sound, but hopefully that comes out as one sound and it's still tweaking right now, you know? And once I find that sound, then it's going to really go. Nice. Yo, um, question. If uh -huh. let's say one of your tracks was to pop off and be a radio hit tomorrow morning uh -huh. and labels are coming out wanting to sign you, would you pick a label or go independent? And how do you feel I about would go I, I've thought about that a lot. Um, I would still try to go independent because right now um, I don't feel like I have the clout because I've worked hard in my life to gathering up, gather up enough money to try to fund this on my own. And so what I'm thinking is like, all right, at my point in my buzz is not at the point where it's, I'm going to have clout with the label. The clout is going to, I mean, the label is going to try to take advantage of me at this point. I already know no matter what, you know, like, and so I would rather build my buzz up if they can offer me like connections or offer me like distribution only and sign a contract where like, okay, you take this much amount of like distribution and shit, but not my publishing. Yeah, then I would do it. But, but not, nothing where like they own my shit because they're going to just try to rape me. Yeah, I hear right, that. Definitely. Yeah. Independent artists are coming out of the fucking blue. Yeah, yeah. It's good. And though. like, yeah, I'm, I'm like studying all of their grinds too. And I'm like trying to see what each one did. Yeah, that's definitely. Important. I like when Nipsey and Macklemore. Like, I don't even listen to Macklemore's music that much, but I I respect him as an artist and I respect his grind. I like watch his interviews, see see what he did, cause he's he actually is do, did it the best when it comes to the independent grind, and Nipsey's doing it incredibly right now. Would you do what Nipsey did? Would you charge a thousand dollars? One K, crazy. See, but he was at a certain level for that. I would eventually, and there, there are, because it, it's a cool thing, because there are people that are proud to pay, and I, I love that, like, because you want to support an artist, you want to, and it's dope when people do that, because money is energy, and that shit comes back around, like, you know, like, people got to realize that shit, when you got, when you support your artist, that kind of good energy comes back around, so I would try that eventually when I have more, like, when I, so, like, solidify my spot more. Do that. <laughs> <coughs> word yo um what do, you, what do you guys do this podcast at uh we do it in new york in mount vernon trap house oh that's trap, trap house <laughs> we in the oh, trap, trap house, house. yeah <laughs> you guys just smoking smoking just like do the shit you guys be smoking when you guys do the shit yo these guys Not don't yet. smoke we, I, don't so, I don't want no They're smoking soft. up in here right now do we can't, right. we're not go outside and smoke okay yes yeah, i gotta shut up you don't smoke sound either affirmative at all. okay we got a weed head, <laughs> super okay. weed head here. Yeah. Only one though. Yeah, I smoke on he's occasion. Cert, he's our certified weed head in the building. Oh, yeah. Try <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he's a fan. <laughs> Bro, you there? You still there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Word, word. 
Did you get the Google Plus running? Maybe you can show, show oh, you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Because this is our first time, like, live streaming on Word. YouTube. Right, straight sorry. to YouTube. I'm down to make history with y'all. Word, word. Give me, like, a minute. I'm, all right, I'm logging on right now. So what should I do? Should I, like, What'd you, you guys want to add me? The inv- yeah, the invitation was posted, so just check oh, your um, okay. invitations. I guess. I never I never got a Google Hangout. <laughs> I think um yeah. Is that crazy. You'll get like you'll have like an email or something on your Gmail and it tells you to add uh who it was your email? Us. Uh, it's the formalities. Oh, it'll be it'll say the formalities has added you to their circles or you'll have like an email something with that. And on the right hand side, the bottom right, there's like a box where you could just like add and jump into the hangout. All right, let me see. Let me see. This is pretty cool, though. If we right now we don't have the comments open, next episode I promise to put the comments open. But you can tweet us the underscore formalities is the Twitter. Send us anything. And we'll hey, get it could right you away. send that again? I didn't. I didn't get that. Okay, cool. Not because uh, I'm on United Nations Embassy Gmail. Oh, you're on the United okay. Nations one. That's what I was trying to ask him. Put put it in again. Because I sent it to the Roll Rockwell one. Oh yeah, yeah, that one. Um, uh, uh, yeah, this one. I'm I'm using this one for the Google Plus. Yeah, that's that's fine. Go back, press, press backspace. You had it though, Ram. United Nations. All right, we're sending the invite right now. Let's hope this works, man. I never did this before. How y'all like it so far? <laughs> My baldy looks a little dull. Need to, <laughs> need to put a little shine on it. His head looking like a sloppy. What is that burger again? Looking what like is a, it? A, a gravy smothered, burger? A smothered, a smothered burger. A smothered burger. <laughs> don't, we, don't we talk about my baby's burgers, man. My baby, sloppy Joe. My AKA. baby's watching this right now. Sloppy he Joe. would not approve of you guys. This and the this burgers. Works. If this works... We we on a new plateau, man. It's a is new this, plateau. Has this ever been done before? Yeah, but they look theirs look more professional than us. They got a better background. They got, got a better cool. cameras. I think my camera might be cool. Well, look, next episode, all the kinks is worked out, and it's gonna be smooth. Shout out to Ro for being like the best right now, trying to troubleshoot. Is Ro still in line? Yo, bro. Yo, what's up? Oh, okay, word, cool. okay. <laughs> so how long you lived in Cali, bro? Uh, I lived in Cali my whole life. I was born out here. So I, I'm, I'm always living in Cali. Yo, so what's the difference between Long Beach and uh, LA? What's the difference? All right, it's a yeah. huge difference. Really. Yeah? Like, Beach is, um, there's actually like a different accent. There's like a different way of life. It's, it's less glamorous. <laughs> it's, uh, the girls are still bomb though. Like I would just say, it's just different. It's it's more low key. It's like low key LA because people are still stylish. Mm-hmm. They ain't low key LA. That's dope. I should, they should make a T-shirt like that. But like it's like that. It's like a low key version of LA. That's how I put how oh, I that's think of dope. it. That's dope. So it's like more yeah. laid back as opposed to yeah. yeah. That's sick. I only been to Cali. Uh, I only been to LA once. I always usually go to San Fran when I'm in Cali. Oh, San Fran? You gonna yeah. move there? Yeah, I like the Bay too. Shout out to the Bay. I like, I like the Bay. Graham says he's gonna move to Cali. Where do you think he should move to? <laughs> oh, What's can't up? What, what'd you say? <laughs> what'd you say? I said, Cram says he's gonna move to Cali. What's the best spot in Cali? I would say LA is the best spot. How's the, what's the price of living like? New York. Um, Apartment wise. Like, what's the what like? The price of living. How How much would a, how much would a, a two bedroom apartment run? Me? Okay, two bedroom. It, like it depends on what you want. You can get a two bedroom for like fifteen hundred. Like you, you just make it a one bedroom and just somebody use the living room and shit like that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Fifteen hundred ain't bad for a two bedroom. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. You get a studio apartment for that over here. Yeah, that's a studio. <laughs> price. Yeah, <right. laughs> that's the price of a studio in Mount Vernon. Yeah, yeah, I know. Studio, I heard man. New York is expensive. It's the price of the closet in Manhattan, though. Yeah. Make fifteen hundred. Come back. <laughs> Come back when you make sixty million dollars a month. 
with us. <laughs> Uh, that's, hey, hey that's, that's to rush out, but I gotta head out at five minutes because I gotta go somewhere and be there by five. Yeah, it's fine. Then, like, but this shit's tight, though. I want to do more of these. Yeah, we'll definitely have you back on. We'll, we'll, yeah, dope. We'll set it up. We'll have you back, and then this time we we'll get the with the video going with you. Right. Yeah, yeah. Next time for sure, we'll we'll get that going. Just give it the um. Tell the people where they can find you and view your stuff and listen to your music. Okay, um, they can find me at rowrockwell dot com, and um. What else? Twitter at Ro Rockwell, Instagram at Ro Rockwell. Um, yeah, that, and basically, and then you follow the Twitter at United Nations Embassy. Look out for that merchandise on the store. Like, we got dope ass hoodies right now, and we got dope ass t shirts, and they're doing better than we expected. And I just, it's dope because the music leads to the uh, uh, selling of merchandise, and which is dope because people actually fuck with your whole persona and movement and what you represent. So, check that out. It's like, Positive energy type shit. Check out that merchandise, rollrockwell.com slash store. Nice. Thank thank you, Ro, for calling in. Hell yeah. Thank appreciate you your time, man. homie. Yeah, hell yeah. I appreciate your guys' time. And keep doing that shit because, like, podcast is where it's at. I'm trying to tell my homies we should have a podcast too <laughs> once in a while. It's that worth it. Clean. Yeah. yeah. It brings the group together. If you could get them to focus on tasks, yeah, <laughs> it'll work out yeah. a lot better. Exactly. Just it's all about getting your homies to focus. That's the key to life. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. All thanks, right, thanks, bro. All right, all right peace. Thank you. All right, man. Peace. Peace, man. Cool. Word. So we live word, streaming. Word. Still. Still. Them smothered live and is calling my name. You see how, you, you see how you're trying to leave? Just saying. I'm just, just saying. saying. We got to have a meeting after this. I stream. just said my smothered burgers is calling my name. My nigga hungry. You ain't I got understand. no snacks. Where's the hostil- ho- hospitality? Over I lost. Here? I lost Sleep. my job. Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my job. That you. Get, I get paid tomorrow. How you get paid tomorrow? You ain't got no job. I got. I got checks coming in. <laughs> oh shit! You got a scam over here. New I got York checks scammer. coming in. The Brooklyn. But I got man. another job next. Like next week, I probably start another job. Okay. So it's 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 just all time thing. You gotta pick up the pieces. I don't have any food for y'all to smunch on and snack and all this Doritos and shit. I got shit too. Put got, it in the pot. And I gotta, we go, just I gotta get it. go upstairs to the penthouse and uh, Yo, see what's going on. Once we start making money with this shit, we better have like fresh full of fucking junk food. And yeah, whatnot. I have a, I I have wanna, a chef come fruit, in every episode. Yeah, hell yeah, chef. I want a fruit tray up there. I want some waters. Well, we're gonna... Now we have a fucking... Uh, a personal chef come through. If things Hawaiian start punch coming punch through, if things start coming, if things start coming through, we won't be in this location. We'll be somewhere Fine, else. dude. We won't be in a trap house no more. We'll move up. We should go to the city. <laughs> we'll move up to a new location. Upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't moving on now. <laughs> yeah. To the living room. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but thank everybody for tuning in on the on the YouTube. This you can see it again. Experience. <laughs> we tried. I'm gonna set up the comments for next episode. And thanks for a few um my friends that's watching right now. This is your boy. Cheer. Thanks everybody for watching. I love you guys. Thanks. For- thanks, Ro, for calling in. And yes, look check out Ro Rockwell. It. Every guest should have a Google Plus now. I know everybody got Gmail accounts because I email you in Gmail. You and me my back on Gmail. Everybody so has a Gmail. there's no excuse anymore. I don't have a Google Plus. You, you got Gmail? Then you got Google Plus, nigga. Got Gmail. Gmail. <laughs> you got Gmail. You got Gmail. Gmail. All right, we out of here. It's the formalities. The formalities dot com. Oh, we forgot to. Can you call Roll back? We need a quote. Nah, fuck <laughs> that. <laughs> Yo, see that's the, every. We need a quote every episode. Well, we fucked Gotta up. I got he the gotta stream. Go. My stream. The stream has got my brain. You guys got to remind me of stuff. Oh, now we got to help you remember shit. But you don't remember telling me we got a YouTube page. I don't have to <laughs> remind you that. You can see it. I don't remember. Wiggity squat. Wiggity squat. Wiggity squat. It says squiggity. Whatever. Squiggity, wiggity, diggity dog. Yeah, it could be whatever you want. It's just. Take on the world. All right. Shout out to y'all <laughs> if y'all listening. <laughs> Shout Thank out to the you. supporters and the fans and the listeners. I'm promised to tighten us up in this group. Oh, he's going to, he's going to, because these him. motherfuckers is just out of whack. Glimpse is going to crack that whip. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
We out of here. You gotta make sure you put a, a, a crack, since since Ro couldn't put a whip inside right there when I said no. that. Since since whoops. since Ro didn't give us a quote, you gotta give us a quote. Give, give I gotta give the guys a yeah, quote. You gotta give us a quote oh, before we shit. leave. Shit. What's the quote, Cram? Nah, y'all. What's I the dropped quote, the quote. Sean? Oh, okay. Chris. Got oh, Chris the got the quote. Oh, he got one in his phone. Hey, hey, hey! Smoke weed every day. <laughs> hey, shut up. Uh, All right, go ahead, Chris. Uh, <laughs> Yo, <laughs> the grass is greener on the other side. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. Yo, never take somebody. Where you? Wait, 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 wait. Never wait, take wait, somebody. Wait. No, no, no. To the weed house. Yo, yo. If they got a straight up, let, <laughs> let me talk. Let talk. Go ahead, go ahead. Never take advantage of somebody because you never know when they'll be gone. Okay. Okay. Uh, That's it. All right. All right. Don't take Not advantage taking. of nobody. But what does that mean? Don't take advantage of somebody because you never know when they're going to be gone. But if they're gone, how you good? <laughs> Didn't you use them up already? You should just not take advantage of anybody this ever because this is well, bad. You don't really notice sometimes. What do you mean? I take advantage of you? That's what you're saying, Chris? This is how you... This, this not is, really. In, in, in retrospect, treat <laughs> others... Treat others in a way. You this is the same treat. code in every fucking quote. Saying. Right. So here we go signing off theformalities.com. Go ahead, Cram. Send us your shit, info at theformalities.com, and we will holler back with vengeance. Yeah. Peace. 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 a bottle of hair grease. Say a quote, Cram. I know you got one on your mind. Nah, I don't. I don't. Smothered burgers. Smothered burgers and llama beans. <laughs> nah, I ain't got no llama, llama beans. beans. String beans. You hear this guy? But they're creamy. Thank you, guys. <laughs> the kid from um from um Larder Squad. Or Love Gravy. Fa fa. Fa fa. Fa fa, son. All right, we out of here. We out of here. Yeah. Man. Peace.